solutions and solubility. The liquid that dissolves some matter is called a solvent. The matter that gets dissolved is called a solute. The solute dissolved in a solvent forms a solution. Salt and sugar dissolve in water, but stone or a piece of glass don't. Oil will not mix with water. So glass, stone, wood and oil are insoluble matter. But salt and sugar are soluble matter. If solutes such as salt or sugar are added to water, it gets dissolved and forms a solution. This process will continue as long as the solutes dissolve. After some time, the excess solute will remain as crystals. This solution is said to be saturated. Sufficient solvent is needed to dissolve excess salt or sugar. If we put sugar in hot milk, it dissolves faster. Stirring also makes the sugar dissolve faster. So heating and stirring are the factors that increase solubility. Water is the universal solvent, but it is not the only known solvent. Matter such as grease, tar and oil paint dissolve in kerosene, petrol and turpentine oil. Thus, kerosene, petrol and turpentine oil are also solvents. Artists use turpentine oil to clean their paintbrush after use. Salt or sugar mixed in sand could be separated by adding water to the mixture and draining it off after some time. The insoluble sand will remain at the bottom of the glass, which has water. But the sugar and salt dissolved in the water cannot be drained off. But we can separate the solutes, such as sugar and salt, by allowing the water to evaporate. When the water evaporates, small pure crystals of salt or sugar will be separated.